welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today, I'm going to share my Amazon home favorites, 10 must have home finds for your home. I'm gonna mix it up with a little bit of home decor and organization. So if this is something that you like to see more of, make sure you like, and that lets me know you wanna to continue to see this type of content. Let's go ahead and get started into some of my home favorites from Amazon. These are in no particular order, but I definitely want to just share some items that I've had for, some of these I've had for several months, some of them had them I've had for over a year, and I can definitely attest to whether they are good products or not. Starting with this wall art. Now this canvas art is really, really nice, and I like it because it is an easy, substantial piece at the same time. Um, it could be hung on a wall if you need to, but I like that it has a thick enough frame that it can just be set up on your shelves. I've also used some in my kitchen. I actually have a smaller one as well that um, is a beach, like a beachy print that was good for the summertime. I have no idea where it's at, otherwise I would show it to you. It's in a bin somewhere, but I definitely do recommend these because these are a very affordable option and it's from Amazon. They come in lots of different prints and lots of different styles. So depending on what you want for your own home, I highly recommend these. One of my Amazon favorites are these stacked cane boxes. These are the square version. They also come in a rectangular version. They're a little dusty. I can see the dust flying. Maybe I need to dust. Um, but these are great decorative as well as functional pieces. So you can keep them together stacked or you can unstack them and install them in different ways, but they do open up and you can put things in them. They work for me. I've styled them on my shelves. I've styled them on my console table. Um, they look good in your bedroom, on a dresser, or on your nightstand, um, but they are very great pieces. And I have seen some people, especially the ones that are more rectangular, um, I've seen some people cut a, a small hole in the cane part so that they can fit a cord through there and they will put it um, and store their like cable box or direct TV box or something like that. And so that's a good way to decorate with this. I got this last fall during the Amazon Prime Day sale when it was on a really, really good deal. If they were not on sale, I would not buy them because to me they are a little bit expensive. So the Amazon Prime Day deals are coming up in a few weeks. So if you see something like this and you want to get it, make sure you grab it. I will have everything that I'm sharing today in the description box, link down below. So definitely add it to your list and see if that price goes down. One of my favorite finds from Amazon that I've had for several years now is my tear tray. And this tear tray I did get from Amazon and I've had it for a while now and it's my favorite one. I currently have it styled in my kitchen for fall. It is a two tier tray. I have it in the wood tone. It also comes in black, which I wanted to get, as well as off-white, which I've wanted to get. But honestly, as much as I love styling my tier trays, I don't have the space to store multiple of them. I already have three tier trays. This one is my smallest one. It's the easiest one for me to decorate. And especially since it fits right here in my kitchen, I love to decorate it each season but I definitely highly recommend it. It has held up for several years through a couple of moves. Definitely highly recommend this from Amazon. I have books. <laughs> I have lots and lots of books from Amazon. These are coffee table books specifically. And I like to get my coffee table books from Amazon because they're a very affordable option for them. Now I try not to buy regular books from Amazon just because I try to support a smaller independent local bookstore if I can. If not, an um, Barnes & Noble, Target. Um, I like to do Amazon last when it comes to like regular books just because of trying to support the, the author, the artist, the publisher, everybody who's involved with actually making the book. But with coffee table books, they are the most inexpensive that I have found unless you can find them thrifted or on clearance at like home goods or something like that. My best pricing that I've ever found has been at Amazon. So. I'm just gonna show you a few of the ones that I have. Now, some of these you've seen a lot because I decorate with them a lot. But these, for example, I have a couple. This is Paris and Bloom and the Reese, Reese Witherspoon Whiskey in a Teacup book. I got these because they're perfect colors for spring. Another way that you can use coffee table books other than just having them on your coffee table or having them propped up on your shelves is to use them with 
a book easel or like a book stand. I'll link some below. Ooh, deviled eggs. Very nice. Um, <laughs> but that's a nice way to feature a page in a book because you'll have it like lift sitting up like this. And then that way it's open in, uh, for display on your coffee table or on your console table. But, you know, I like these for spring, like I said. So right now I don't have those out. And then the ones that I have out on a consistent basis are the Joanna Gaines Homebody Book and the Liz Marie Galvin's Cozy White Cottage Book. And then my most recent finds that I got from Amazon are in my kitchen and they're cookbooks. Another Joanna Gaines. This is the... Um, the Magnolia Table, the first edition, and then the Half-Baked Harvest um, cookbook. Now, I will say, yes, these are also available. The Magnolia Table books are available at Target, but Amazon beats the price, even with the Target 20 or 30% off that they say um, that they are every everyday priced at. So I definitely highly recommend getting them from Amazon, unless you can find them at a better price, but Amazon is a place that I go to quite often. I have so many coffee table books that just sit in my cart and I wait till I see that they go on a really good price and then that's when I buy them. One of my favorite finds and must-haves from Amazon is my bread box. Now, my bread box, I get asked about it all the time. Um, for some people, I know that they use this strictly for decorative purposes, um, but for me, I actually use it for a little bit of both. It's mostly for function. Putting my bread in this bread box makes the bread last a little bit longer. Although bread doesn't tend to stick around too long in my house, but sometimes it does depending on, you know, who all is here. But it can typically hold several loaves of bread. So right now I have three, not all the way full loaves, but three loaves. I actually showed this in my most recent video, which was my Sunday reset video. And when I'm filming this today, this is Thursday, and I filmed that on Sunday. And on Sunday, all my loaves were full and I could barely close it. But generally speaking, when I have a lot of bread, I can put it all in here and they all fit because it's very it's very rare for a bread to last where the, every loaf is a full loaf at all times, if that makes sense. But this is great because it can also hold your hot dog buns or your hoagie rolls or what have you. All sizes and shapes of breads can go in here and it helps them to stay a little bit fresher a little bit longer. Some of my favorite Amazon home finds are in the organizing category. So let's step into the kitchen so I can show you what I'm talking about. One of my favorite finds is this cabinet organizer. It is specifically, you can use it for different things, but I specifically use it for my pans. I don't know about you, but I hate when I open up cabinets and everything is a jumbled hot mess. It causes instant anxiety and overwhelm in your mind. And that's the last thing that you wanna be dealing with when you are trying to fix food for your family or for yourself. And I have found that this has really helped because this organizer allows me to specify the width of each slot, for lack of a better word, to fit the pan that I need it to go in. So it has helped a lot because almost all of my pans can fit in here easily. The only time that I can't is when all of my pans happen to be clean at the same time, which is rare. <laughs> um, generally speaking, one or two pans is probably either in the sink or in the dishwasher. And if it's not, then I can just put it in this other empty space that you see here. Now on to the left, that's just an organizer that I got from Home Goods several years ago. And I use it just to hold a couple of the big lids that I have for my pans. But in generally speaking, all of my pans fit into these organizers very easily, very seamlessly, and it just makes it so easy when I'm opening up my cabinet to go grab a pan to cook with, and it is here, and it's not, I don't have to lift anything, I don't have to move anything out of the way to access it, it's just, it's just here. You grab and you go. So I love that. Another fun find that I have in my kitchen is my paper towel holder. Now it's very simple, very easy. Um, you would think it's not that serious, but I like to keep my paper towels out of the way. Um, paper towel holders typically can just look just a little cluttered, you know? So this one I have inside of my kitchen sink door, the cabinet to my kitchen sink, to keep it out of the way. It's just very easy to access here because this is next to the sink, which is where we typically would use paper towels. I have in my previous house, I had the same organizer, I had the same holder and I had it up under one of our cabinets. So just to kind of keep my countertops clear, it just helps to 
you know, with the visual clutter. So I definitely appreciate this. And it's a fun find, an easy find, and definitely an Amazon favorite and must have that I highly recommend. Moving on to my bathroom, I have a few of my Amazon home must haves here as well, starting with my shower organizer. My shower organizer is a godsend because I don't know about you, but it's so frustrating when you just have, regardless of how big or small your shower is, things always, if you don't have a way to corral things, items will always just end up on, in my case, our shower bench or um, our little shower niche that they give you. I don't know why they make these little things so small. <laughs> so ever since I got this, it has been such a game changer for us because my husband has his one. I gave him the top one. I have the bottom one and everything that we need can go in these spaces. We also do have one that's on our, like that one of those kinds that go over your shower, the actual shower head, which is nice, but this really has made such a huge difference in keeping not only our stuff kind of separated, so he has his, I have mine, but it just keeps everything off of the shower seat. So we love this so much that I also got it for my kid's bathroom. Um, so my son and my daughter, both same situation. He has his section and she has hers and hopefully there's no fighting. <laughs> Another item that I love to have for home organization from Amazon is for my bathroom sink. It helps to keep it helps, I'm the other reason that needs to be doing it, but it helps to keep all of my go-to skincare and makeup needs right there, easy to access for me every morning and every night. And it's this organizer that I got and it kind of just helps keep everything corralled. And then I also like that it has these couple of drawers so I can keep a few things in there as well, like my mascara is in one drawer and my beauty blender and my makeup pads in this other drawer. My makeup pads, triangle pads are also from Amazon. So I'll link those down in the description box as well. But I definitely love having this. It just helps to keep my countertop a little bit cleaner. Now, thankfully my, my husband have separate vanities, but <laughs> I'm telling you, we've not always, it's not always been the case. And so he appreciates that I have some way of keeping these a little bit neater. I also have this spinning rotating organizer that's for your makeup or for anything that you really need, honestly. And I have this in black. I also have one in clear that you can kind of see in the back that I haven't ever put together. <laughs> but um, I was thinking of giving my daughter the black one and then me taking the clear one. Both of them are really great. They just help to organize and make things easy to access. And in my last house, I actually had this on top of my sink, on top of the counter. But here I actually have it underneath and it just really helps to be able to have everything in an easy to access way. That wraps up today's Amazon Home Favorites video. I hope that you enjoyed and found something new that you might want to add into your home for either decorative or organization purposes. And like I said before, I'll have everything linked down in the description box down below. And if you like this content, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love to have you join my community here on YouTube. We are gonna continue with our decorating. I'm so excited to start decorating for Halloween and Christmas. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video and you have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.